scripted. Anyway, uh, guys, I want to take a minute because there's something that we should talk about. Now, we're all pretty pumped about the budget tonight, and a lot of people are putting their hands up for a slice of funding. And frankly, I want in on that action. I'd like to put my hand up on behalf of a group of Australians who might be unable to, or are too afraid to, or when they do ask for help, they're too often turned away. I'm talking about Australian women who are regularly beaten, abused and killed by Australian men, usually their partners. I'm talking about the 18,631 people whose calls went unanswered last year when they called 1-800-RESPECT. That's the hotline set up to provide counselling services for victims of domestic violence. They reached out and were turned away. Now the hotline needs $2.8 million each year to answer those calls. That's about 1 20th of what we will spend this year on the National School Chaplaincy Program. Somebody who's reaching out to a service like 1-800-RESPECT, having a call go unanswered could be devastating. And there's no guarantee that they'll call back. This is real. This is happening. One in three women is affected by family violence. Show me the money. I'm putting my hand up for the more than 150,000 desperate people turned away from community legal services last financial year when they needed help. About a third of the work of community legal centres is critical to making sure those affected by family violence don't have to face their abuser face to face in court without support. Show me the money. I'm putting my hand up for the 423 people who are turned away from homeless shelters every night. Many are women. Many are the more than one million Australian kids affected by domestic violence. It's unbelievable that women and children in need looking for refuge are being told, sorry, we're full. Credit where it's due. In March, the government allocated $230 million to frontline homelessness services, which focus on women and children who are victims of domestic violence. But the announcement relies on states and territories to match the funding. So to the state governments, I also say, show me the money. Now, it might surprise you to hear that I'm also putting my hand up for men, for the Aussie blokes out there who settle family arguments with their fists, often in front of their kids, the guys who engage in psychological torture and have their partners feeling trapped with nowhere to go. And I'm especially putting my hand up for the blokes out there who, since the start of the year, have murdered 24 Aussie women who are either current or former partners. That's not one a week. It's more like one every five days. I'm putting my hand up for funding for these guys because these guys need help. It's a hard thing to stand up and say that, you know, you're a violent person, that uh, you're a rageful person, that you've abused your wife and partner. Um, but until you actually do that, change isn't going to happen. We need to work together and really force the government to continue to look at ways to hold perpetrators accountable and stop placing the onus of safety on the responsibility of the victim. Campaign organisation Fair Agenda would like to see an extra three million invested annually into men's behaviour change programs and four and a half million over the next three years to develop accreditation for these programs and another million so that systems like police and the courts and child protection services can work more effectively with each other. And I'd like to see that too. Domestic violence causes 23% of the homelessness in this country. It costs police 40% of their time. It costs Australians $13.6 billion annually. It costs kids their childhood. And by this time, next week, it will cost another woman in Australia her life. She won't be able to raise her hand. So I'll raise mine. And you should too. Starting tonight, when the nation is focused on its spending, every one of us should make one simple demand. Show me the money.